Tom Fresa here for the Naval History and Heritage Command, and today we are again going to be cooking with history, using a recipe out of the cookbook of the United States Navy, the 1945 edition. And the recipe we're going to be using today is fried chicken, Maryland style. Now, when doing the research for the fried chicken Maryland style recipe, I reached out to uh, several descendants of sailors and asked them if they had heard of this recipe. Several did get back to me and the response across the board was the same. The sailors really liked the recipe. It was one that they, they looked forward to having. And one of them, a uh, petty officer first class, Walter Shabalov, was actually a cook and it was the one recipe that he took home with him uh, after the war and after he retired and would make it for his family. Uh, in fact, another story that they told me is that he never wanted to become a chief in the Navy because it would, have, it would mean that he would be taken out of the kitchen. So uh, once a cook, always a cook. All right, so the recipe itself calls for 100 portions. Now, I don't have a kitchen big enough to handle 100 portions, so we scaled down the recipe to fit this one bird here. So the ingredients are as follows, and we'll, we'll go through the original and the scaled down version. So, chicken, frying, dressed, originally 125 pounds, we'll be using uh, a five and a half pound bird. Flour, originally four pounds, we'll be using three fourths of a cup. Salt, Originally three-fourths of a cup, we'll be using one and a half teaspoons. Pepper, three and a half tablespoons. Originally, we'll be using a half teaspoon. Eggs beaten, one and three-fourths pints. Uh, we'll be using about uh, two to three eggs. Milk liquid, a half gallon originally. We'll be using uh, one-third cup. Breadcrumbs fine, four pounds originally. We'll be using three-fourths cup. And then melted fat, originally one pint, we'll be using one and a half tablespoons. All right, so the instructions are as follows. Prepare chicken for cooking. Cut into halves or quarters. Combine flour, salt, and pepper. Mix together eggs and milk. Dredge chicken in flour mixture. Dip in milk. Roll in crumbs and coat thoroughly. Place into greased roasting pans. Add fat and remaining water. Bake in moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one to one and a half hours or until tender. Base during the cooking period. And when it's done, serve it up. So, we're going to break into this recipe and uh, see how it turns out. I'm really hoping that this will be a good one. So, check back with me and we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it. And here it is, our Maryland-style fried chicken, ready to go. So let's uh, let's get it off and onto the uh, the the mess kit here. And it smells amazing, and it looks really good. So let's cut into it and see how it looks. Perfect. Well, there we go. Here's our uh, Maryland-style fried chicken. So the big question is, how does it taste? I can already tell it sm smells amazing, and it looks really good, too, so let's give it a try. Oh, yeah. This is a great recipe. I highly suggest you try it out. I totally understand what the sailors are talking about, because this is fantastic. So, with that... If you'd like more information, please visit the website of the Naval History and Heritage Command, history.navy.mil. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy this, and I'll see you at our next cooking lesson.